Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Back to the Future Part 4, the multitasking crystal for more point and click adventure game action, indie point and click adventure game action I should say. Um, we are right back where we left off in the library, uh, which is of course the library from uh, Venice in Last Crusade, but we're actually in the town hall in Hill Valley. Um, we managed to get this little bit of paper before with some dates and times on it and this bike. And we're going to uh, continue on and see what else we can find. Um, but first, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always, guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. So let's do this then. Let's head out of the exit. It looks like the only place we can really go is the airport. Um, so let's head over there. Okay, so we can go to London, Los Angeles, New York, or the Bermuda Triangle. Uh, should we just do it systematically and go to London first? Why not? Okay, so we can go back to the airport. What else do we have here? There's the moon. There's the sentry here. He's, of course, one of the Queen's guards. He's not answering. Yeah, he, he won't answer. They don't, they don't talk to people. Um... They just guard. Right, there's the moon up there. I always dreamt to fly on the moon. Why is Stonehenge in London? Just out of curiosity. There's some gates. There's a danger sign. Is this literally it for London? Can we... Okay, so it looks like we need to get rid of the sentry somehow. If we're going to get through here. Can we use the spacesuit to replace the tank? Yeah. Can we... It's the Walkman. Okay. Oh, it still has the sound on it. From um, when we were up on Mars. Interesting. I wonder if we can use that on the moon. It doesn't seem to work. Okay. I wonder if we can use it on the guard. No, that doesn't work. So, there doesn't appear to be an awful lot we can do here just yet. Maybe we'll come back. Let's go to the airport. We'll go to Los Angeles this time. Let's see what's in Los Angeles. Hey, it's Big Whoop! <laughs> We're in Big Whoop. Oh, brilliant. Retro games. It's Star Wars! It's Han Solo, Chewie, Darth Vader, Yoda, Luke Skywalker, C-3PO, R2-D2. There's a Stormtrooper. Oh my god, look at all this. Wow, okay. It's like Star Wars Day Out to Big Whoop. Um, <laughs> retro games, let's take a look at this. Can we talk to this dude? We can. Hi, I sold everything but this joystick. How much is it? $200. Whoa, this is heavy. I bend over backwards to make a deal. Barter? I'd really like to think about it. Eh, it's nice to meet a man who appreciates quality. Okay, $200. Wow. Um, can we maybe give him something instead? Do you want the bicycle? Swap? Um, no. Somehow, here we are talking about something of value. I understand that you care about quality too. I mean, take a look at how you dress up. Mm, so he doesn't want the bike. Does he want the Holy Grail? Swap? Mm, no. Okay. So he doesn't want the Holy Grail. I understand? Yeah, we know about that. Blah, blah, blah. Does he want... Does he want this spacesuit? Oh, look, a lovely spacesuit. No, he doesn't want that either. <laughs> okay. Something of value. Okay. It's annoying that he has so much to say. Is he going to want the trash bin? Is it, is it going to be like that where he actually wants something really crap? No, he doesn't want the trash bin. Okay. Potentially he wants something that we don't yet have. Um, let's take a further look around. I don't want to offer him 
that because I think that's going to come in and be quite important. Let's go in here. This, of course, should lead us to... Oh, no. Personnel only. Okay, if you've seen my Monkey Island 2 playlist, you'll know um, all about Big Whoop. If you haven't, why not check it out now? I'll leave a little card at the top of the screen so you can go and check it out. It's um, an amazing game. And this will make a lot more sense to you if you do. Right, here we go. The weenies place. I order hamburgers and chips. Okay, so we've got a big hamburger. And we've got some chips that actually look like popcorn. <laughs> Fair enough. A gift shop. Oh, yeah, this is where Guybrush gets his um, fancy dress costume from, isn't it? Doesn't look like we can really click on a lot of this stuff. Is there a storekeeper somewhere? Oh, it's the troll. The troll, who is, of course, George Lucas on The Secret of Monkey Island. Can we talk to the troll? We can. Sorry, that costume's rented. What costume? It sounds pretty heavy. Weight has nothing to do with it. What what costume are you? Is that Sam and Max there? Look, um, that costumes are what costumes are already rented? Maya one. Does he want the spacesuit as some sort of swap? I accept only reservations. Oh, well, is this a reservation? This piece of paper here? No. Okay, so. I mean, there's not a lot we can do in here, actually. There's not nothing we can really click on, which is strange. I don't know what costume is already done. An arcade retro machine. What's this? Someone stole the joystick. Ah, that's the joystick, then, that we'll have to get from the other guy. But we need to know what he wants. Hmm. Oh, my God. Please tell me we can go to Stan's place. Oh, we can't. Oh. <laughs> I love Stan so much. He's like the ultimate guy, isn't he? Right, so maybe this guy wants some food. Perhaps he would, would like a nice, tasty, big hamburger. Would you like a big, tasty hamburger? No. Okay, he doesn't want... I, just, I mean, take a look how you dress up. So people think I'm in fancy dress, then. Can't do anything with the Star Wars guys, they're there just for decoration. I wonder if we can give the burger and the chips to the guard. Possibly. Let's go to New York anyway. We're gonna trail these places. <gasps> Ghostbusters! Here we go, guys. There's the Ecto-1. It's the DeLorean. <gasps> okay. So the DeLorean's here. We can get in the DeLorean. Uh oh. Was I meant to do this? Oh my god, I can go to all different times. I can go to 1993, 1997, 1938, 2008, 701, and 1985. Um, should we stay in 1985 for now? I didn't think it would let me do that, I'll be honest. So we can time travel. So we can travel on the plane, but we can also time travel in the DeLorean. So that is interesting. Okay, this is the lab, isn't it, where they were. There's a Polaroid up there. There's a ticket here as well. I wonder what that is. Where's the ticket? There it is. Ticket. The Caponians, an unknown alien race, kidnapped Dr. Emmett Brown, Dr. Fred Edison, Dr. Egon Spengler, the Doctor. My dream is real. I must find a way to find Doc and save him. Wait, the Doctor is in Doctor Who as well. Can we take that? So the dreams come to life. Right, this Polaroid, we've got to be able to take this, right? Yes, we can. What's the deal with the Polaroid? Maybe we can take a picture of the Sentry in London. Because there's a thing, you're not, I don't think you're allowed to take pictures of them, I'm not sure. I should know that because I live in London, but it's, it's been a long time since I went up to London to see the the soldiers or the queen's guard whatever you want to call them um, i was a child the last time i did that so <laughs> uh yeah you have to forgive me on that front um i think that might be it for this particular little area oh wait no there was something there oh it's the exit <laughs> it 
<laughs> it's the exit, okay. We'll leave the time traveling for now, but we might well do some time traveling because we've got to go to the Bermuda Triangle. Oh my god, right. We're in a Commodore plane, lovely. Can we do anything? Are we going to crash and die? Ah. What do we have here? There's the ocean. I won't dive dressed like this. Aha! But he might dive dressed in this. No. Okay. Maybe we need a new tank. I had to replace the tank. Yeah, so maybe we can dive in there once we've got a new tank. That is possible, right? Okay, so we can't do anything else here, it turns out. So let's head back. We'll go back to London. We will try to give this guard some food. And then if that doesn't work... No, doesn't want the hamburger. What about the chips? Does he want the chips? No. What about if we use the Polaroid on him? No. Okay, none of that worked. <laughs> so, the only thing I can really think of now <coughs> is we can try to give this Polaroid to this guy. If that doesn't work, which it hasn't, then we're going to have to go through time. We're going to have to take the DeLorean and we're going to have to go back in time or f forward in time. Forward in time possibly first and figure out what the hell we need to do next. It seems like, in this time at least, we've run out of ideas. So, New York, here we come. And we'll jump into the DeLorean. And now we'll fly to... Drumroll. 1993. Here we go. Ooh. So you can go to Detroit, Los Angeles, or New York. Let's go to Detroit. Ooh, this place is really run down, isn't it? Um, a robbery in progress. I have to call the police. Okay, let's call the police. Hello? Oh, I need some coins. Okay, so we need some coins then to be able to call the police to stop that robbery. We don't have coins, do we? No. So let's let's uh, carry on for now. Should we go to DJ Boy? No, can't go in there. What is that? A laser device. Holy crap, yes, we need that. A laser device. Wow. An inscription is engraved. Built by wacky inventor Wayne Sislinky. Oh, this is from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. <laughs> I love that movie. Can shrink... Was it sake? Can shrink... And grow objects or people beyond their natural size. Okay. Is there anything we want to shrink or grow? Not that I can think of off the top of my head. But maybe there will be somewhere else. Okay, so I think this time is, is done. We need some coins to stop that robbery. We don't have coins. Let's go to Los Angeles. It, it won't let me click on Los Angeles. Or New York. What's going on? I, I can't click. Hang on. No, I can. Maybe I was clicking with the wrong button. Let's go back to 1993 again. Yeah, there we go. I was clicking with the wrong cursor. Haha. <laughs> what is this? I recognise it. Three D printer. Nice. It says. Print a mask, insert a picture inside the computer. Ah. Okay. So, we need to take a picture of something. There's a computer here as well. There's a ticket. It says, Peyton Westlake is dead. Now I am Dark Man. Okay. This is all sounding familiar, but I can't quite place it. Is that a button? No. Can we go down these stairs? No. Okay, never mind. Um, 
We've got some more things we can do. So we need to take a picture of somebody. And then we can 3D print a mask of gremlins too. What the hell? Oh, there's even more little cameos in this game than there were in the last one. Uh, why can't we do anything here? Why are we in the gremlins? Uh, can we go in here? It doesn't actually look like we can do anything here. Oh, wait, the bin. Haha. <laughs> Hi. I found a quaint animal. I take you with me. Oh my god, it's a gremlin. We've got... We've got Gizmo. <laughs> Has a necklace with a personalised tag. It says... There are three rules. No bright light. Don't get him wet. Never feed him after bin. No. No matter how much he begs, bright light hurts him and sunlight can kill him. If he gets wet, he pops out more mogwa mogways. Mogwise. I can't remember how to say that. Um, hmm. We've got a gremlin. Okay. <laughs> We've got Gizmo. Fair enough. The cameos uh, thicken. Right. We've been to 1993. 1993 is done and dusted. Let's go to 1997 and see what 1997 has for us. Le Bakery. Okay. Can we go into 5850 or whatever that is? No. Can we... Wait, can we... No, we can't press that. We can go in here and up these stairs. Whoa. If someone asks you, the door was opened. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, what is this place? It'll probably make sense to me shortly. Um, there's a TV remote control. We can pick that up. Fair enough. Um, is there anything else? There's a TV. And there's a door. Can we use the TV remote on the TV? That would make sense, right? News. Good morning, San Francisco. This is Loria Moore. Zack won the Nobel Peace Prize for the world. Then he won the Pulitzer for writing a book about the co-ed spring break became their big break. A famous movie producer starred them in the box office smash Mars Needs Men. The people of Earth rapidly regained their former level of intelligence and traded in good karma for the latest food fad, two-headed squirrel burgers. Oh my god, that sounds disgusting. No one trusted the phone company anymore. So telepathic conversations and dream sharing became the norm at $2.50 for the first three minutes after 11pm. What? And now, from the most anticipated concert of the year, the Diamond Eyes singer awaits you numerous. I'll be there, you can't miss it. I don't understand what's happened, neither do I. Is this to do with Zach McCracken? I think it may well be, right? Um, and just just another thing that I'm going to say. It's not a rant, but I'm just going to say it. I've noticed quite a few comments, um, not, not on my playthroughs or anything, but in general about um, this set of fan games, saying that, you know, oh, I really don't like the translation issues and, you know, it's not plain English and I can't play games like that. And, you know, you've got, you've got to bear in mind that... Um, English is not the first language of the creator of this game. Most people, including myself, can't actually speak a second language. So to be able to put together something which pretty much does make sense, apart from the odd little phrase being slightly wrong, it's it's not a big deal, in my opinion. You know, the fact that this game is available in multi-languages, you know, that to me is an amazing thing. I'm not going to get bothered about people putting slightly odd words in because you know it's it's a second language for the developer so you know i think people are sometimes a little bit stupid and over the top with their criticisms of things especially when someone's gone to a lot of hard work to make something but you know each their own i suppose right anyway fantastic i got the original game of sam max hit the road wow a reservation for the max's costume is included that's what we need 
That's what we need. It's a reservation for Max's costume. So we can get that um, from the big place. It's the original game of Sam and Max Hit the Road. I could make some money if I sell it. Maybe we can trade it. That is a possibility. Right, there's a drawer here as well. We've got to open that up. Cassette. Can we do anything with that? Cassette? Yeah, there we go. I found a screwdriver and a monkey wrench. Okay. Hey, it's like the one out of Thimbleweed Park. What would we need a screwdriver or a monkey wrench for? I don't really know, but... We can't actually look at them. But we do have tools now in case we need it. So, that's interesting. Opens up some possibilities for us now. So we can get that... Um, we can get the costume. And we can possibly trade with that trader. What's in here? Closed. Work in progress. Okay. Fair enough. 14th Avenue. Let's go there. Ooh. Lose loans. Okay, so we can go in there to do lose loans. But I think we will do that in the next one, guys, because we are pretty much out of time. So, I am having so much fun playing this. There's even more little cameos and Easter eggs and things like that in this game than there were in the last game. And the last game was... <laughs> amazing as it was so i cannot wait to play more of this game i'm absolutely loving it and i hope you guys are as well um let me know in the comments below if you are um and your general thoughts so far i mean i'm going to keep playing it regardless but it's always nice to see what you guys are thinking about the games i play on the channel um, and i love just interacting with you guys so go ahead and leave me a comment if you want but that is going to do it for this one so as always guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoy the video click on that like button it really does help the channel to grow so i do appreciate it Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.